Hi everyone, welcome back to Max TV Original. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the projector with the bad pixels. This is not an LCD projector, this is a DLP projector. So I can tell you straight away that uh, we will be replacing DMD chip and having a look at it closer. So let's have a look at this uh, nice little device. This is an Optima, it's very small as you can see compared to my hand. Uh, it is. Uh, it does take HDMI as long as the CVBSS video and VGA is card, apparently connector. Very portable. So uh, let me turn it on for you before we start so you can see what is actually happening. So I'm going to start the projector. So as you can see, uh, this is a really bad case of a bad DMD chip. Everything, as you can see, pixelated. So every single bit is, it's, it's really bad. The whole screen pretty much is dead. Uh, I think the DMD is completely dead because I can't even get into the menu. So I'm pressing menu, but nothing happens. I'm trying to, uh, you know, select the source and nothing happens. And I know for a fact that projector used to work. So um, I've hooked up my uh, pattern generator to it, but again, I can't get anything on the, on the input because it's, it's dead, but that would be the case. And usually some of the mirrors would be either, if you have a black background, they'll be white. And if you have a white background, they'll be black dots, just like you see uh, on here. This is black background, white dots. So here's a new chip that I've ordered. Uh, it just arrived today, actually. So we're gonna have a quick look at that and uh, we'll, then we'll get the projector apart get the old chip DMD chip out and uh, compare them under the microscope so it came with a little thermal pad and here is the DMD chip itself so a lot of people call it DLP uh, this is not DLP this is DMD uh, it stands for a digital micro mirror device so it contains lots of mirrors on there we'll have a look um, at them under the microscope, see if we can see them. So it works on the principle of micro opta electromechanical system, where the little tiny mirrors are stuck on the disc, as you can see on this picture, uh, on the substrate, and they tilt. So just to the diagonally to reflect the light into the light absorbing pad inside your projector, and to project the image, they will reflect the other way to shine the light into the lens, and that would be one pixel. So one mirror equals to one pixel. So this is a completely good one. If you have a look at your DMD just like that, you can see that this is very reflective and you can reflect anything. It's nice and clean. There's something on the, on the top of the glass, which is probably fingerprints, but the reflective pattern itself is nice and smooth. So we're gonna take one out of the projector and have a look at the used one and see what it looks like. I've already taken the liberty of taking all the screws out. So we're going to lift the lid off and disconnect the cable. They, they actually, this is some sort of a, it's plastic compared to the bottom part. The bottom part is actually aluminium. The top is, uh, it's almost like a Bakelite, but it's obviously not, but it feels like it. So we've got a small board with a processor. Uh, I'm going, there's a small tiny power supply in a corner here. The bulb's located underneath there. So let's uh, take it apart and see what's inside. I've disconnected all the cables and um, undid the screw. So this part is the slot that holds the DMD board in place. So let's uh, carefully remove that. So here's the main board. This is where the DLP chip is. So that's what DLP is, digital light projection, or processing actually, digital light processing. That's the DLP chip itself. Uh, RAM, all the uh, probably HDMI board. That would be the HDMI board as a satellite. So underneath here, we see a little heat sink, almost like a CPU and more of uh, power supplies and um, the bulb driver. So let's remove the engine part itself. So the engine is held by th three screws on the sides here and a metal plate. So once that's off, uh, we've got the compartment where the lamp usually sits. Let me just adjust the light. 
and the whole engine just comes out like that. Oh, one more wire. So here it is, that's the whole optical engine. Uh, the light, there is nothing else to it. So the light shines through this diacrylic rotating mirrors into the light guide tunnel. From the light guide tunnel, it goes into the mirror that is on the side here inside, reflects into the DMD chip. From DMD, it goes straight into the uh, lens. So to the remove, uh, I'll just put this aside for now. To remove the DMD, uh, it's almost like a CPU. We're gonna undo the screw, lift this off, remove the cooler, undo those four screws, and take the board out. So I think I know why we couldn't get the DMD to show any menus because it was not locked. As you can see, it plugs into here and then it locks with that screw just like a CPU. With the CPU, you've got a little uh, lever that you press and it latches in. But this one is just a twist screw to lock it. It wasn't locked, so it wasn't making any contact. That's why you saw the dots, but that's the dots. They stay like that. And uh, now let's, uh, uh, before we put the new DMD in, let's... Um, quickly have a look through through uh, this part as you can see that's the lens down the bottom there if you look on the corner on the angle here so if I shine the torch uh, through here you can see the reflection of red in there which is because it's on red color at the moment and that shines through the light guide as you can see onto the DMD chip and the DMD chip reflects it out to lens very simple system uh, that mirror spins fast to create all the colors so I'll give you an example, I'll need to clean it, it's filthy. So we've got here, let's start with a white color. So we've got white, blue, red, yellow, green. So five colors. If this, uh, will, uh, if this projector works at say uh, 30 frames a second, we've got to time it by five. So it's 150 frames uh, that it's gonna do. In one frame, the color will display image in white, in blue, in red, in yellow, and in green, in just one frame. So that's how it draws the images, because the DMD itself is black and white, it's just a mirror, nothing else. So let's uh, take a good DMD and a bad DMD and stick them under the microscope and see the difference. I bet you can already see the difference. Excuse the shaky surface, it's uh, really hard to get this under the microscope well. But as you can see on here, it's just as we saw on the projection, that's all the digital mirrors. Unfortunately, I can't get even any closer to them. This is as close as it gets. Uh, but yeah, every single mirror, as you can see, that's the bad chip. And you can actually see that it's almost got a picture on there of whatever that was projecting on there. And yeah, this, this chip is, is bad. Let's have a look at the good one now. This is the good DMD. Uh, whatever you're seeing there is just a dirt uh, on, the, on the DMD itself. Let me wipe it. That's a bit better. So as you can see, there is no spots. It is just right. Again, like you see on the black, this is just a specks of dirt. It's not the mirrors. So the mirrors are all fine. Uh, that's yeah that's how the dmd is supposed to look even visually you can just tell the difference between the good dmd and the bad dmd chip you can see that is really bad you can see there's someone's face there it's upside down let me turn it right way around yeah it's almost like someone's face has been shown in the pixels So I'm going to experiment with that DMD chip actually. I'm going to try putting it in a freezer and see if it'll unfreeze any mirrors and probably heat it up. It's dead anyway. I mean, there's nothing that... It's a waste of a chip. So I might as well experiment to see if you can get them unstuck somehow. Maybe even drop it, see what happens. Let's get back to the projector. 
So let's install the new DMD into the socket. Uh, before we do, let's have a look at the serial numbers and how you can save some money. So as you can see, this one is um, 1076-6318W. But uh, you can actually get an alternative once. When you're Googling that number of the DMD or uh, eBaying it or AliExpress it, you will mostly see the listings that would come up with this number and then similar numbers next to it. So it'd say, it'll say uh, the first number is 6318W, then it'll say uh, 6328W or 19W, and they all will be in one, which means that those series of chips will fit that projector. So you can always uh, see them, write them down, and then Google them. So for example, if you search for 6318W, it might cost $60, and then you search for 6328W, it'll be $40. But it's essentially the same chip, and you can still use it. So to install it in a socket, you just uh, align it with the key correctly, put it in just like a CPU, and then using a screwdriver, you twist it to lock position and that's locked, so that's sitting there well now. Before I put it back into the engine, I'm going to clean inside the engine because it, it is a bit dirty and there's something growing on here, as you can see, like right there, right there. So I wanna get rid of that, whatever that is, and clean all the dust off, and then we will uh, continue on. I took a bit of time to polish all the mirrors, um, but I've managed to do it. As you can see, they're really nice and reflective now. Absolutely fine. So let's install the DMD now. So don't forget that little pad here because that does come off. So we'll take our assembled DMD, uh, noting where the pin is. Just put it over the top. Okay, actually, before you do, uh, probably use a little bit of a Windex on the cotton bud and make sure you clean the DMD so there is no dirt left on it. There we go, so that's perfectly clean now. So the only image quality that will be affected by specks of dirt is between the DMD and the lens. That's the only uh, pretty much image itself. DMD lens, that's the rest of the mirrors and optics. If it's got a speck of dirt in it, it's all right. It's not gonna affect it too much. So now let's apply all the four screws. Now that the screws are applied, let's take our heat sink. Then we will remove the plastic that is on the, the protection plastic that is on here. And let's apply that to the DMD. I think it's this way around, yeah. Then we'll take the bracket and install it back on. Now this will take a little bit of pressure. There we go, so the DMD is now installed. So I'm just gonna quickly uh, add a new piece of um, captain tape. And the DMD uh, replacement is done. So this captain tape, I usually leave it on for now, just so I know where to replace it. Once you undo this, usually it's, uh, it's not sticky anymore, so you have to put a new piece on, but I will leave that in place, so when I put it together, I can peel that off and put a new piece on. So let's put this into the uh, chassis itself. So it's very simple. Just gonna put that in. Be careful not to touch the mirrors. There we go, so it's in now. Gonna put the screws in, put the board in, and then we'll uh, test it out. It's pretty much completed. Don't forget to plug all the connectors in and replace the captain tape that we tore off before. Also, uh, see that little transistor here on the side? Just a note for you, if you have a thermal warning or there's a problem with the thermal sensor, that's a thermal sensor, it's not a transistor.
So I've cleaned the lens and while I was inside I've cleaned all the fans and uh, all the dust and all the dead bugs that were in there. So all we have to do is put the top lid on and we'll power it up and see the results. So I've uh, uh, plugged everything in. I've hooked up my trusty pattern generator into it. So let's power it up. I haven't turned it on yet at all. Okay, so we've got image. Let me just refocus that. So far so good. No dead pixels. I'll just move it out a bit. Okay, so that found the source. That's a test pattern. Excuse the flickering on the camera. Uh, it's actually, it's not flickering for me. But let's try changing the patterns. So we'll go to the second one. So gray. Red, so red's good. The whole camera is flickering now, as you can see, but no, it's actually, yes, yeah, it's because it's a scan rate. So green, blue, and full color. So projector is working just fine. Let's try zooming it in. Not that much, but as you can see, that would be the test grid. But as you can see, that corner left, by the way, that's just a cable there, <laughs> in case you're wondering. But as you can see, the image is nice and clear. So all the menus, I assume, are working fine. So that's mute, yeah. And yeah, there is no problem with that projector. Let me try zooming in and see if camera will fix it. But no, it is still really flickery. So there it is. I hope you enjoyed uh, this video on replacing DLP cheap and that helped you to fix your projector. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. Thanks for watching. My name is Max. Bye.